Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is a game Strategy Command World War 1. This is my play by email match. And uh, I take the Anton and let's see how bad the situation is changing now in the winter months of 1914-1915. So first is winter, I mean winter is in Europe and uh, Arabic it is also winter, whatever this means, it's not so hot, still warm. So with this situation, infantry attacks are not really powerful. And also the navy have a hard time to find and hit the target. So most of these winter turns are inactive and more for logistics and rearm and uh, rebuild armies. So you can see the no attack at all. Completely inactive. But it's typical. But the game balances out so this is why the winter turns are one turn like one month and in summer it's like one turn is two weeks only. So there's an uprising in uh, East Turkey and uh, there's a mutiny in Bombay So and the British are evil and uh, occupied some Greece uh, islands. Yeah. So I must simply defend the border towns in uh, near the Italy border or I will have trouble. Make a detachment here and uh, maybe sabotage the uh, oil refineries. Uh, you can do this and try to damage here or something. But, you know, maybe. Volunteers are always good. So I get one new dreadnought. I think this is a better use in, uh, in the East Sea. And I fight with the Russians. With the Russians I can maybe fight, the British I think it's no way more. Good. Luckily the weather is on my side. So I can maybe uh, attack here now. The Russian morale is at 91%. Very similar to the German. So there's no bonus or... Because if one nation is very low on morale, this morale, the nation morale, will have also impact on the unit morale. And this, this always means uh, less powerful or more easy to break. Good. Let's see what is possible where I can strike first. So I first maybe try to walk here, attack. Nice. And this unit is now already less readiness, so it's already grey, you can see. This is 4. So I walk here, tick again. Now it's breaking. Go back. Go back to my lines. Uh, going here. And finish them off. And fall back.
and I can entrench him. So uh, this is only a tactical victory. I mean, I only destroyed one corp with, with um, so the kill ratio was now 10 to 1. I lost one hit point, the Russian 10. Still, it will not change anything. It's really only a tactical victory. You can celebrate this. If you can do this three times per turn, then it has an impact. If you do it somewhere, it is only a well, minor victory. Anyway, still, every victory is uh, important here. So I scout here first. Okay, and I see everything behind. And yeah, you can also see here something. This units they look have another look. These are mountain troopers out of the Caucasus. So these guys are normally at the border with Turkey, but in this case the Entente calls them to fight in Poland for emergency or whatever. So this is why the Russians are weak at the border now. Good, uh, this also gives me the opportunity to maybe strike here. But first, I want maybe change the commander now. It's maybe now time to get a better HQ guy. And you can see, I only changed HQ from 5 to 8. And now I have not a more 2 to 3 kill ratio, now I have 2 to 3. So, why? Because I have a more skillful overall commander. Okay, time to attack. Again, and now finish them off. Light loss is only for me. Good. So this means my infantry can move forward and dig in. I don't need here to do more. Reinforcements. So two Russian corps getting destroyed. This unit was fighting, this unit was fighting, this unit was fighting. Okay. Is enough. HQ, move more forward, close up. Means uh, normally supply situation is better because uh, HQ also produce supplies more or less. So I have here now, before I here a 7, you can see, you know, these units have more supplies. Mm, more is always better, but uh, the number one rule is you must have at least 6 supplies. If you have less than 6 supplies, then you have issues. Good. No pressure on the Ottoman or the Austria unit, so I will maybe use or use this time to reinforce here my units. And uh, stay put. Uh, If I could replace this guy, okay, this guy I could replace, but he you have not really anything to command. All of his units are under this leader, so I have here. Yeah. Maybe it's time to call this guy back. It's the weakest air HQ I have, but. Uh, so I could transport this guy, operate, cost me 34 MPP. How is the situation with Italy? Oh, only 13%, okay. Then I can maybe also walk. Some scouting. Yeah. He 
here I could strike back. Uh, for me uh, so this uh, corp is now heavily damaged maybe maybe there's an opportunity maybe I stay here. No change on this side. Yeah, I kick it again the Albanian troops. And then I fall back. Uh, yes, the weather is much more worse. I can see nearly nothing. Let's dig in. This port slot is soon not more able to use, so I change. My submarine can try to sneak out. Silent mode. Okay, successful. Then I can bring this ship in port. This was okay. Then west front. Anything new here? No. It's also impossible to do anything. Then reinforce. And again. Radar is of course a no-go. And this also looks not better. Maybe against this detachment uh, yeah, the kill, to kill detachments is always so meaningless. This is normally exactly what the enemy want. Take, take detachments and waste power for this. I could attack here maybe the British. This is maybe more useful. I force him back. Mm. Here, a similar situation. Trench, in trench, this is in trench. Everyone is in a trench. Here also. And my Zeppelin. Ah, again, a hit. This is my recon bomber. I oh, know here, I've moved him over. And you can do nothing. Good. West Front was also. I only force enemy back. Nothing too important. So I have still the money left. 
Maybe there is something I can try. Ah, back to port. I better repair and fix first my ships. This is maybe more important. The little ships I have. So this is maybe a recon bomber. Next turn. No, I better keep my money. If I can do anything with money, I still have a little budget left for additional ND. So, I'm already maxed out on submarines. Artillery, I can push a little more. And then I have 100, up to 100 more. Trench warfare, I would say. Defense is maybe victory. Austria. Austria need. Austria need. Uh, more money and cheaper rebuild and more trench warfare. Okay, and Ottomans need more money and more trench warfare. Good. So, what is the Ottomans doing? I can first maybe start with the Caucasus. Uh, my units are here under tyf Typhus, so I must first uh, rebuild the units if possible. Okay. I mean, this gives me already all, the Ottomans already getting here 12 morale points for this town and here 12 again. So, more or less over time, I can suck out here 24 morale points per turn. I mean, you can see you start with 22,000 morale points. I mean, 24 is not a lot, but the Russians losing this 24 every turn. To the Ottomans, and uh, Germany can also. Uh, yeah, here I don't count. I can take here some points for lots. This is twenty-five points per turn. And I don't know. I think there's some other city here. But most important is if I can take here Warsaw and the cities around. This is then a lot of morale points. Of course, uh, Russians also getting here morale points for this city they take. So. Up to now, Russia is not losing morale points. It's only that the only one is really losing morale points is Austria. Austria is bleeding morale points. Germany is winning morale points. I think for Brussels and this stuff, you don't get anything. No, you only get uh, MPP points, but uh, no morale points. Even Brussels give you nothing. But okay. Um, good. Caucasus. Nothing really to do here now. So let's uh, try to get my HQ here out. And send them to help with uh, Basra. Good. Uh, more important, I was hoping that some the, maybe they are trying to attack, but looks like they don't want to attack. But they are out of supplies, so they are starving. And 
I can say, okay, if you want staff, then staff a little longer. I have no need really to rush this, so I try to close the distance, bring in more forces, bring my HQ nearby. of a defense. And more forces are coming. Source. Oh, Damascus is also. And my second HQ also trying to reach the front line. Good, I think this is enough. You don't one tick in. Okay. No money left for no one. Everything is spent already. Good. Let's see how the British staff here, because they are starving, they have only supplies of two or three. And I need my HQ at level 10. This is also not the best HQ, maybe I will change it. What is the best HQ I can get here? I know I cannot change now. Next turn. Good. Then, see you next turn. I end the turn. I have nothing more to do. But I always better check again. Nothing more is flashing. Mm, no. Nothing is more flashing. End the turn. This was already January 1915. Italy is calling Canadian troops completing their training Walkers going on strike Doesn't that could in sync Okay, a boost for trench warfare for Ottomans, this is good, then they can dig in much better. And my shipping out of Norway, Denmark are more or less destroyed. But I get the food out of the Netherlands, it is okay. Good, then see you next time, take care, bye bye.